Yes, those were sprinklers at BMO Field on Wednesday, heralding the long-awaited arrival of real grass. The green stuff will only be in for 72 hours, enough for Toronto FC's Friday friendly against Real Madrid and an open practice Thursday night. But it will be a welcome sight. As you can see, they're moving very, very quickly. We'll be done sometime this afternoon and allow a day and a half for it to settle and then we'll have Real Madrid uh, open practice tomorrow night. Bob Hunter, Executive Vice President of Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment Limited, says both teams will benefit. Madrid insisted on the good stuff or the game was off. Fans aren't the only ones tired of seeing strange bounces on the artificial field turf installed three years ago when TFC was born. Players found the day-to-day -day pounding tough to endure. Hunter hopes natural grass becomes a permanent fixture by next year. Unfortunately, city politics makes that easier said than done. You know, it's a combination of different things. Again, there are four partners in the ownership and, and the contribution to build the stadium, including MLSE. The big issue there, which rightfully so it should be, is this, built, this stadium was built for community use. And so we have to provide an alternative to that if, in fact, those other three parties are going to consider allowing us to convert. The four-inch turf laid down Wednesday is locally grown by a company specializing in golf courses, but it will be pulled up Sunday and discarded. From BMO Field, I'm Lance Hormie for Sun Media.